Hi there. Within this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your first ePortfolio page using the Mahara system. So, first of all, you need to navigate to the ePortfolio system, and you can find a link within Moodle once you're logged in on the left hand side. So, click on this link here, and this will take you to the ePortfolio system. As you were previously logged into Moodle, Mahara also knows that you are logged in and you can see your name here in the top right hand side. If we scroll down and look at the dashboard here we can see there's some different options. In this pages area are where all of the pages that you will complete as you progress through the course but there are also some other options where you can update your profile, look at your files, do a reflective journal and maybe create your CV and you'll, I will cover these options and how to complete these in another tutorial. So for now though, if we first go to our pages area, we can look at all the different individual pages we have created. Obviously, if this is the first time you've used your portfolio, you won't have any pages in this area other than your dashboard page and your profile page. So first of all, we need to uh, click create page to create a new page. This will then bring up a window where we can add a title to our first page. So I'm going to call my first page introduction page. You could write a page description in here but for, for my page I'm going to add my page description as a text box and I'll show you how to do this in a second. So once you've added your title click save and here you'll see we're now into the edit content area and the title of our page has been added at the top here. So the next things we need to do now is add content to the page to build the page and put in text and files and pictures whatever we choose to do. For the first page we're going to add some text, a picture and t the two files that you needed to upload before you meet your tutor for the first time and that's the about me document and the contact information form. So first of all we're going to add a text box. If you look here there's different icons indicate uh, the different types of content we can add to the page which is this white space down here. If we go to general we can see that this icon indicates this is a text box. If you are unsure what the other icons mean, if you drag your mouse over each one in turn, it will show the instructions for the icon below. So here we can see this says text box, add notes to your page. So what we need to do is left click and drag the icon into the white space and you'll see the dotted grey box indicating where the top text box will be placed. So I'm going to place this text box in the left hand column here and let go of your mouse button and that will bring up a new box where we can type our text into. So for this text box you may want to write some introductory text about your page and what you're going to put within it. So here I've written who I am, that I'm looking forward to the course and the type of content uh, that can be found and so on and so forth. Before I click save it's also worth putting a title to this text box and I'm going to call this introduction and now I'm ready to save this and you'll see once you click save it will then add the text box to the page with the title of introduction. The next thing I want to add to my page is an image or a picture so here under files, images and video I can then choose the image which is this picture here. It says image, a single image from my files area. So again I'm going to drag this down onto my page and I'm going to place it below the text and let go of the button. This is where I could either upload a previous picture that I may have added but for the first time obviously you need to add the file to the files area so you click upload a file and then browse 
and this will look in your computer to find where you've placed the picture that you want to use. So here I have a picture ready, so I'm going to choose that, click open, and this will upload the file to the files area, and we can see now it's been added at the top here. Then I can scroll to the bottom of the page and click save, and that will add my picture to my page. If I don't like this title header here, I could go back and click Edit or Configure. And again, the text here, I will remove that by deleting it. Click Save, and that will get rid of the text there. So the final jobs I need to do now is to add those two files, the About Me document and the contact information. So I need to choose the icon that indicates this files to download, drag the file onto the page and let go and again I now need to upload those documents so click upload a file and browse and again I need to choose the about me document click open and that will upload the about me document and place it here I can also do the, about, uh, the contact information form that I've previously completed at the same time. So upload a file, browse, contact information, open, and again that should add the contact information. Again it's worth adding in the title or header or deleting it if you don't want. So about me document and contact information and then when I'm ready you can scroll down your page and click save and you can see the headers in there and the text files are in there as well ready for you to, to click on them and open them so that completes the page there are some options now where you may want to change the layout or you may choose to add the text within the files directly onto the page and I'll show you how to do this for those that want to know if you open the document, the about me document and we'll just wait for that to open up the text file okay so it may be that you may want to copy out the information that you've written in your uh, file, so right click copy, you could copy the whole um, whole document if you wish and then it, you may want to paste that back into a new text box so if you go to general get that text box again and drag another one down and remember it opens up a new text box and here you can right click and paste that information in and then click save and you'll see that that now adds the text directly to the page so it's up to you whether you want to upload it as a file or whether you want to edit the text straight onto the page the final thing we might want to do now is change the layout so we can use this edit layout button here and choose how we want to lay the page up so for this page I might choose to have a larger right column, click save and you'll see now that we've got a small left column and a large right column. If I want to display the page and preview it, this will be how your tutor sees the page. And that's always worth doing before you submit so you can see what it looks like. Finally now I can refer, return back to the Mahara uh, dashboard page and you'll see that page has been added into our pages area here introduction page and if I ever wanted to edit that page again I can click the pen here that says edit and that will bring me back to the page to continue editing so there we are you've completed your first page and in our second tutorial, I will now show you how you can submit this page to your personal tutor within Moodle.